What's up guys? Welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can create the Yon Awesome black and white to saturated color transition in LumaFusion and how you can make it even better than him. So be excited, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any video in future. And we are jumping into LumaFusion now. We are in LumaFusion now. And the first step is to drag and drop a clip into our timeline we want to use. The next step is to shorten the video to a good length. I would recommend about 6 to 8 seconds so you get a nice length you can use for the video. The next step is double tapping the clip so you get to the FX layer. Go to color and FX, select the color preset Noir. Then add maybe a lot so you get more contrasty image in the black and white and a improved color science in the saturated part of the clip. As you can see here, so there's a big difference between the one with LUT and the one without LUT. Now go to about 3 seconds and add a keyframe. Then move on about half a second and add another keyframe and slide the saturation to 1 so you get the full saturated image back. So now we have already have this transition from black and white to colorful. But you could even improve this effect. Go to the first keyframe, then to frame and fit and add a keyframe. Go back to FX, select the second keyframe Go back to frame and fit and add another keyframe. Between those two keyframes we are creating a shake transition. The shake transition makes the whole clip or the whole transition pop and it gets a wow effect. You only can get with motion. I'm not going to explain every keyframe, so just follow my example and uh, copy it. If you don't want to copy it, just try it yourself. The important thing is that you are creating inconsistent movements into every direction, maybe some changes of in the size, so you get a nice shake.
okay that's not perfect yet we have to adjust it a little bit so making it slightly less heavy but i think that looks good now if you want to improve this effect even more you can add some speed ramps to it so maybe making the black and white part in slow motion and the colored part or a saturated part in normal speed so you get another effect into it uh, which makes it even more nice so just be creative and try it yourself okay that's the transition it's super easy to make as i said um, if you like this video give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any video in future and we are seeing each other at the next video see ya